What's the difference between cavitation and ventilation? The terms are often used interchangeably and incorrectly, so let's set the record straight. Cavitation is the formation of air bubbles due to a low pressure area, usually formed by your propeller. This is actually the water boiling. Side note, at a standard atmosphere, water boils at 100 degrees Celsius, right? Well, a mile high in Denver, Colorado, it boils at 95. Cavitation usually occurs because either you're spinning an improperly pitched propeller or there may be some propeller damage that appears to be minor, say a ding or a slight bend in the blade, but is actually causing this situation. You'll feel it in the form of vibration. Now, cavitation is bad for three reasons. First, it can actually cause pitting on the propeller. It can physically damage it. Second, it causes those vibrations which make your boat less comfortable. And third, it reduces your propeller's bite in the water and can cause a reduction in efficiency. Ventilation, on the other hand, is the propeller actually sucking in air. Now this may happen because you have the engine trimmed up too high. It can occur because you're jumping waves and the back of the boat is actually coming up near the surface of the water. The propeller is getting real close to the surface. Or perhaps you crank a really sharp turn and as the boat leans, the propeller gets too close to the surface. Ventilation is also bad, mostly because it can cause a radical reduction in thrust, and also it can cause your engine to over-rev. Here's a simple, non-scientific way to know if your boat suffers from one or the other and which it is. If your boat seems to suffer from too many vibrations and you look at the propeller and you can visibly see pitting, you have a cavitation issue. You're probably going to need professional help to get it taken care of. If, on the other hand, you hear your engine over revving, you have a ventilation issue. And that's something you can probably solve yourself by the way you run the boat. Trim the engine down a little bit, particularly before going into a hard turn, or maybe just slow down so you're not coming out of the water as your boat comes off of waves.